drop. And now he walk. Oh, he's going to lose all these gateways he's producing. Oh, wow. Yep, here come three overlords right now, fully loaded with links. They're going to make their way in and drop right as these gateways are finished. We do have a couple of sentries inside, but there's going to be huge probe damage done here. In fact, the links are going to move back, take out those sentries. They know they've got an opportunity. Oh, he's forced me out the probes into the links. And so many probes are going to die. In fact, he's going to pick up some more links. Go ahead and drop them over the side. He needs to get those down before that void ray does take them out. He targets the wrong one, and Moon is inside Naniwa's base. Moon is ripping apart everything inside this base. The void rays come back and try to do some kind of defense. A zealot gets warped in, but will this gate? Wow, he let the gateways finish, so Naniwa is going to be able to produce zealots four at a time. That is, I think, a big mistake by Moon, not taking the extra few seconds to kill off that pylon. Naniwa showcasing brilliant defense, building this extra pylon, getting himself more and more Void Rays. More Zerkas are getting dropped in. Baitlings getting warped on the right side. Two Baitlings to get thrown down. Zerklings now gone from attack to harassment and Naniwa may very well stabilize. Yeah, you know, he's going to have to because right now the supply of Moon is in the negative. He just now got uh, his Overlords back, but he has lost all of his drop potential because of these three Void Rays. Now he's got to think, oh no! Banelings and he has handled this so well. I think you're absolutely right. If you would, I, you know, I think he wanted blood there, saw an opportunity to maybe get things done, and uh, not losing those gateways by Naniwa pretty much saved him with those zealots.